Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again, continuing, and we're actually on a pretty good streak right now, and for the first time in a few episodes, we're going to be actually randomizing her character. Okay, do you know what? Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? Lazarus got the rework and we were playing with it recently, and apparently the game sees it fit that we should get another one I don't even know how this would work, but yes. <laughs> um, why not? Oh shit, that's why not. Oh my god, this is a hard room. Holy, holy hell, holy hell. This is not an easy room at all. I might die again in here. Yep, I just did. Holy hell. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we unfortunately lost a heart that I didn't really want to lose, but that's fair enough. Okay, yeah, we're playing Laz again. That's uh, that's something. I wasn't expecting to be playing Laz again, but we kind of... It's kind of a weird one, because um, I think Lazarus Rags will always take precedent out. We'll always take precedent, we'll always have to die as Lazarags first each floor. But this gives us a little more safety in being at low HP. Obviously, I prefer not to be at low HP when I can be. But it's gonna give us a little more safety. But early, early days in the episode, I've got a question sort of lined up. I don't particularly have an answer for it myself. I've been trying to think of one, but I don't really have a great one. But the question of the day today: what is a, like what video game character? Do you resonate with most? Like, what what character can you just like super heavily relate to? Because like for me, I'd say it's maybe some of the characters in The Last of Us, just because I like that game so much and like the emotions in that game are quite real. Obviously, I can't relate to them as in I've never been in a zombie apocalypse and I've never lost my daughter, but you know what I mean. So it's it's a, that's kind of like a little bit of a vague one, but I thought that could be a, a really interesting. Um, a really interesting question to ask. Also, we got good old Sig Monstro here. Uh, a, a pretty interesting question to ask, just because I think, obviously, a lot of people, a lot of you guys in the comments have played just a lot and a lot of different games. What on earth is going on with that UI there? That that doesn't look quite right. Um, but we get another look up, which is actually pretty nice. Um, I'll take Downpour as well. I'm very glad I did. Uh, maybe I'll even look for Secret Room. Secret room potentially could be useful here. Wait, what? Apparently I never entered my curse room. I'll have you very much know that I did. I, I don't know how you've come to that conclusion, game, but that is incorrect. Right, I'll check here. There you go. Ah, that's a bit unfortunate. We might be able to get both here. I'll try it. We didn't manage to get a nickel from that dude, but we did get that. Uh, and now nah, I'll keep my key for the next floor. Oh, wait, no. Shops don't require a key anymore. My god. But yeah, I think it could, could be really interesting because all of you guys in the comments, you've all played, like, very varying, like, levels of different games and everything. So, it, yeah, it could be super interesting to see which video game characters and stories you guys really sort of resonated with. And, like, I feel like that's one of those things where especially... Oh, that's upsetting to see. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Did not mean to do that. Uh, that's upsetting to see, but it's one of those interesting things where, like, I feel like you can find some some interesting comfort. If we can manage to get ourselves a little bit more money here, we can potentially buy that, which might potentially give us the ability to buy this. I don't know what's going on with our, um, with our UI there. Hmm. I doubt there's a way that we can grab that. But let me have a little look around. Because it, it probably won't give us 30 cent, but it can. <laughs> That's the sort of big thing here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty impossible for us to gain that money right now. We might get one penny, even then. Not even one penny. And we don't have a bomb left over to bomb, and bomb through anything anymore. Unfortunately, it's looking unlikely. A brimstone on the first floor would have been quite nice, uh, I will say. But it looks like it's not quite in the cards for us today. Yeah. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. There could have been some interest there. Basically, if that if that keeper had popped a nickel out of him, we'd have been in the money there, but 
Either way, we go down to the next floor, and I think I'm gonna kill myself pretty much immediately. Uh, although, we will lose our Devil Deal if we do that. And obviously, Devil Deals are pretty decent as this guy now. Uh, I haven't actually checked where we're going. We're just going Blue Baby, so we can kind of do whatever we want on this floor. Uh, of course, we'd like to have, like, Soul Hearts on the floor available to us, um, if we can. But it's not a requirement. Ooh, that is a horrible room. Thank God it's got one of those buttons. Right, uh, destroy some of these poops here. But yeah, having members access, it's pretty good. As we've seen, we've already seen Brimstone. We're going to need some enablers to actually make it kind of work. We've seen the potential of it, but... Okay, so we've already been hit now, so I'm pretty much completely fine with dying now. I'll probably end up dying to these enemies anyways. Oh no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, we'll pop this pill as a half. I almost killed myself with the half pill there. So let's just kill ourselves here. So, yeah, okay, so we do we do respawn as Lazarus Risen first. I thought that would be the case. But yeah, having nine lives here is an absolutely amazing bit of a bit of a assurance that we're not gonna die on low HP like permanently. Obviously we can still die, but it's not a permanent death. We do have a sack room. Um shoots tears but hides when enemies get near. I think I'll take the uh, mystery item. Vault of Havoc. What on earth is this? Um, I've never heard of this item in my life. I don't know what it does. Passively stores killed enemies and can be used as soon as 12 enemies are stored. Upon use, brings you into a special room with the 12 most recently killed enemies and clearing the room will be a will give you a reward based on the total HP of those enemies. Seems risky, but seems interesting. Now, we do have a sack room. Obviously, sack room is pretty impossible for us to play without us burning through most of our lives. I am tempted, but I, I don't think it's a great idea. If I'd have used Solar Maggie a little earlier, then it could have potentially worked. But yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how this Vault of Havoc ends up working. Little bit upset to not have any, um, I might I might lose a life here. Little bit upset to not be able to, uh... ah shit, use any bombs on this guy. This is a boss that I've always found to be really difficult. Just because of that attack that he does where he throws the, uh, the Firefly like right at you. We managed, to, we managed to get our way through it. We'll take plus center. Okay, we don't need to heal up there. And we'll just go. Okay, pretty quick few flaws. Got some intrigue. But yeah, anyways, back to what I was talking about with the question of the day. I think just, just because so many different people play so many different games and have different favorite games, and then also on top of that, so many people's lives and live experiences are so vastly different, that it... Different people resonate with different characters. Of course, when when writers for TV, video games, anything, when they write characters, the main goal is always going to be to make them as relatable as possible. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be dying anyways, but I didn't mean to get hit there. Um, yeah, the, the main goal is always going to be to make them as relatable as possible. That's kind of the goal. That's how you really um, sort of fall in love with the character and, and grow to, grow to like, love them more and more. But... It really depends on which character. I mean, even some people will get the same uh, the same effect from a villain. Um, like even even like one that's a good example for me at least, or one that I always sort of think of is someone like Handsome Jack from the Borderlands series. He's a very relatable and an intriguing character, even though he is pretty much a psychopath, and I'm not like him at all. He's still very relatable, and I can resonate with the character somewhat. <laughs> So let's use this and see. So this is good because we actually got a bunch of really easy enemies here. Obviously, the total HP of these enemies is very low, though, which means that we probably won't get much of a reward. But do you know what? Pretty good. Interesting room design for this. And then I think we can just leave. Okay, do you know what? I actually really, really like the idea of that. I think that's very interesting. Of course, we need to be careful and selective about when we use it because we need to take into account the HP of the enemies for the reward we want, but also the HP of the enemies for how deadly the room is going to be. But it seems that even with a, a, low, a low total HP um, count, we're still going to get some good stuff, because as you saw there, we got three hearts, and the total HP of all those enemies was very low. Like, a lot of them died in a single hit. One moment. Okay, we're good to go. I apologize. As I said, I still do have COVID a little bit, so I'm still a little bit under the weather. I'm, I'm mostly fine, though. I'm mostly fine. I'm all triple jabbed up and stuff. Oh, goddamn. 
Um, pop that. Speed down. I mean, luckily we have a decent speed up, so it's not a big deal. But I, th I think that's one thing about video... I, I was kind of talking about this in a previous episode, but I think that's another thing about video games that people that don't play them don't really experience as much. Like, when you watch... Uh, it's not it's not exactly the same when it's a, a TV show, so I can pop this now, right? Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Mistakes. Mistakes were made. I didn't realize there'd be a turret in the middle, and I didn't realize how many difficult enemies I'd killed. We got an item for it this time, though. Okay, so this is this is really proving to be a pretty good item. Of course, there's a lot of risk associated with it, but if we have the HP to withstand a, a barrage of enemies, we might be uh, sitting pretty with this thing. But yeah, I think a lot of people that... Do I want pop? No, I don't. Little Chad isn't great, but I don't really like Pop. It's a very strange item. Um, I think when someone, especially when it, when it's a film, you kind of watch a film and you get to know the character over the course of like two hours, maybe three if it's a longer film. But it's not really the same. And even a TV series, you, you get to know the characters over the course of, of like however many seasons and episodes. But even then, the, the total runtime that those characters are on screen isn't actually that long, but when you play as a character and you see them in the cutscenes or like it's an NPC that you're with or it's the, the villain of the story, you get so many hours of gameplay and, and time and cutscenes with those characters and you get to know them so much more intimately and well and they become so much more of a developed character. So it's one of the things I love about storytelling in video games, there's so much more leeway and time to really um, express a character. Lemmageddon's real good, but I'm really liking this vault thing right now. Um, I'm just going to leave those. And we'll... Do you know what? We'll go to the mines because we could end up getting the new boss in Ash Pit. I want to see if we can uh, see that new boss. Clutch, I believe it's called. Something along those lines. Sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, the, the opportunity for storytelling is is amazing. So I've been I've been watching a lot of stuff recently about the um, the new Borderlands game. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, if you don't know what that is, it's basically the new Borderlands game that's kind of a spin-off adapted from one of the DLCs in Borderlands 2, which is a really interesting prospect uh, because that was, for one, a really good DLC and kind of, it was a, it was a very interesting one as well because basically the entire thing is based around Tiny Tina, who's a 13-year-old demolitions expert, um, making her way through, through life trying to like not die because it's like borderlands and it's a just hell-filled world but on top of that um i will grab this let's just glitch that anyways um we'll pop this yeah so we're gonna end up dying in here oh we got the soul heart spider in here yeah i'm gonna end up dying in here I might be okay, actually. Soul Heart Spider. Okay, and we got another uh, item. Okay, this is, this is pretty good. I like it. I'm grab that now. Yeah, um, and in that DLC, uh, one of the one of the main characters that dies in Borderlands 2, I won't spoil which one, I know many people already know this, it's a very old game at this point, but anyways, and that character is like a father figure to her, and you play this uh, Dungeons and Dragons game that in, in game is called Bunkers and Badasses, and it kind of takes you through the story of her grief, and like, she's in complete denial that this character's actually dead, um, and so you're like basically navigating her denial, through this sort of thin thinly veiled metaphor of a um, Dungeons and Dragons game, and it's it's really deep. And so I've been kind of getting a little more into um, or reading more about like storytelling in video games like that. And I actually learned that the voice actor that voices Tiny Tina also voices Alloy from the um, Horizon games, Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, which I didn't know. That's insane. Like, that, they are such good games. Um, I, I played a good amount of the first one. I never finished it, and I do intend to. And when I get my PS5, which will be eventually, whenever they become back in stock, which is so still surprising that they're not readily available in stock yet. But anyways, um, and so, yeah, uh, 
I really do intend to get back into that one. That's a game that's just got fantastic storytelling. And it's... I think it's a... Ooh, I'll definitely take Dirty Mind. I think it's an art that is somewhat overlooked. When, when people think, ooh, this person voices a video game character, it's like, well, yeah, they do. But it's not just voice acting anymore. It's like mocap and, and everything. And there's so much more involved in it. And I think it's... It's more involved and in depth than um, than it is just, like, acting. Like, I'm not saying there's anything against acting. Of course, actors are very talented in themselves. Um, one of one of my favourite, actually, um, favourite sort of examples of just brilliant acting recently, of recent memory, like, obviously there's, there's plenty of brilliant actors in the world, but I watched the newest Spider-Man film, um, No Way Home, I think it's called. Oh, my God, should not have been hit there. Um, I don't know why I keep pressing these. It's a really bad idea. Um, no Way Home, I think it's called. Uh, and oh my god, Willem Dafoe in that film is just a genius. <laughs> His acting is unbelievably good. It's 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 actually insane how talented that man is. Like, oh, pretty much everyone in that film was, was very good, but... His specifically really stood out to me as, like, incredible. Oh, this is evil. I basically can't move from this area, so... Everything's gotta come to me. We got car battery! How would car battery even work with this? I don't know. I really don't. I really don't think it will work at all, I'll be honest. It would be bizarre if it did. Okay, just pick and choose our fights. I I'm very intrigued by this run. We've got some very cool stuff going on right now. File cabinet there as well. Ow. Crack that open. We got ourselves an Ace of Diamonds. Is a diamonds is potentially actually considering we've got a uh, what's it called the um, members access card. It might be good to bring the Ace of Diamonds with us because we're not really using the Soul of Magdalene at all. I think it's potentially a bit more useful. This is definitely a terrible idea, but I'm going to pop it now and see what enemies we get. I have no idea what enemies are in this room apart from the big bomb guys and the, the, the enemies we just fought. Okay, this actually isn't too bad, and there's a, a thingy. But I keep forgetting the big bombs have, like, such a huge blast radius of, um, of other shit. Okay, more HP's good there. Like, they're gonna just, like, knock out rocks all over your face, and I always forget that. We're doing pretty good so far. I'm, do you know what's a good idea, actually? Something I've just thought about. What if I, um... What if I Ace of Diamonds the next time I go into my Havoc room? Because that'll just insta-kill everything. Oh, we got beamed up. I love that. That's so funny. Ugh. Oh, these cross-shooting boys... There's another ghosty. There's another two ghosties, I think. Don't know where they are. Do I need to move down this way? Maybe. Apparently so. Right. On seven kill. Ooh, we got an interesting Gideon fight here. Wait, something got beamed up. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Ow. Hit by a rock again. Not doing too well on the deal with the devil and angel front. I'll definitely say that. But the Lazarus damage train. We've managed to kill ourselves pretty much every floor so far. And it's just Guppy's um, nine lies. Sorry, is just give, giving me so much extra safety and making me want to kill myself. Which is a very funny sentence, really. This dead cat is making me want to kill myself. Which honestly is a relatable feeling. If my cat died, I'd probably want to kill myself too. But don't do that. That's not, not good, but... I've had a cat die. It's not it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. Oh, 
unfortunately, where I live, I can't even have pets. And then, when I get a house, I really want to go and get myself a cat. My girlfriend is deeply allergic to them. I've told her that she can just live in another room. Like, I'm not, n I'm not going to not have a cat. She can just, like, live somewhere else in the house. It's not my problem that she's allergic to cats. God damn. <laughs> no, but seriously, I will, I will try and get one. I, I, I'm just going to try and get, like, a hypoallergenic one. Because I, I don't know if I could genuinely live in my own house and not have a cat. That's that's kind of illegal. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't think that's okay. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. Quickly go and grab one of these hearts over here, wherever it may be. Thank you, game. Thank you. Can I, like, bomb that over this way? Okay, that works. That's not what I intended to do at all, but that works. Right, down we go. Hopefully we get Clutch on the next floor, we'll see. Might not even be Ash Pit on the next floor. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. We're not going to see him this time around. Okay, so we do need to kill ourselves again here. Um, I've not got a specific plan in place for when to do that. We shall see. So now we go space bar, and then it's there. Yes, that works so well. Uh, and then this is a scalpel. It didn't actually tell us what this did, but it made us look pretty gnarly. I can see that for sure. Uh, scalpel. Makes you shoot tears in the opposite direction from the front. You will frequently shoot bloody tears that deal 75% of your damage. All other weapon types will still be fired from the front as well. What? Okay, so now we no longer fire forward, which is inconvenient. <laughs> oh, plate of cookie though. Oh, oh, hell yes. So I don't know if we want to be using our like short range blood tears with the 75% damage, or if we want to be using our normal tears and firing backwards. Either way, we've got a bit of a tricky situation here because we have to fire in unnatural ways, <laughs> which I uh, am not a huge fan of. I think that's a Dominic there. Yeah, you do you, Mr. Man. Like that. Okay, so here we'll kill ourselves. Thank God there's fires in here to do so. Nice, nice. I've just seen if I can get an extra soul heart. Unfortunately, no. But now we get a big damage up for the rest of this floor and the permanent damage up for the next few floors. Kind of weird firing backwards, but I'm getting the hang of it. Slowly but surely. I think my uh, external item descriptions have stopped working for some reason. It was glitchy from the start of the run, to be honest. I don't know what was going on with it, but it was not, it was not liking it. Right. Grab that. Okay, so this is an interesting one. We've got enemies that quite literally do not work in this room. We've uh, managed to suck up an enemy here as well. <laughs> there it goes. This is sucking up so many enemies. What the hell? Like, like the last time I had this, it sucked up like one enemy in the entire run. This time it's like, nah, all of them. All the time. I'm liking these layouts for this, though. We've got another Soul Heart here as well. And another Golden Heart. Pretty intriguing. But yeah, just New Lazarus is just so entertaining to play as. Like, Nine Lives, like I said, is definitely giving us some f some extra sense of security and ability to, to play around his gimmick a little more. But even still, it's not, like, crazy. See if I can get this guy to pay out. Who knows? Looking like a nerf for now. Like a big fat nerf. Goddamn. Having to fire backwards is a task. It, luckily though, it does seem like our, our Havoc Vault, whatever it's called. We're getting like a perfectly timed, as soon as we get 12 kills, we get up to our six charges. Got a few hearts there. Okay, this got a buff. 
This got a buff in the recent patch. Now, apparently, it makes it so that cash rooms have better rewards, too. Which is pretty good. I'll definitely buy and pop that. Pretty useful. Um, and I'll re-roll for another item here. Hopefully a good one. Ballot's decent, but not really my jam. Hmm. This could be pretty good. I'll take Fancy Brooch. Make shops sell additional items, which is decent enough. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave this cash room on this floor, but on the next floor, I'll make sure to go to the cash room and see what it means by better stuff, because it didn't specify. I, just, I imagine it works for like the number six magnet trinket where it makes devil deals a bit better. It's just going to have additional stuff in them, like an extra red chest or something. Yeah, this is an absolute pain. But it's made a little easier by, um, by Play-Doh Cookie because we're getting status effects and all sorts. It's kind of funny because it looks like I'm just looking at you guys. Like, my character's just, like, crying at you. Ow. There you go. We got it. We got an angel deal! It's a miracle. Oh my god. And it's actually an okay one, Divine Vengeance. Um, I think I'll leave everything else. Now, will it spawn the boss? Okay, good. I was like, it'd be so funny if it did. This is a pretty easy one, to be fair. Yeah, it seems like the, the basic reward is just those three hearts. Then anything above that is... Um, let's go down to the next floor. The, anything above that is going to be an item. I don't know if there's, an, if there's an, a reward higher than that. But they, they seem to be the two rewards that I'm getting most commonly right now. Which is pretty good. So we're looking to kill ourselves again here, so if we can get... Oh my god, I'm, I'm so lost without uh, external item descriptions. I don't know what caused it to stop working this episode, but it's not... It's weird not having it. Whee! Away it goes! I don't know why I really just decided to use a bomb there. Ow! That was rude. The, the way that my shots are going when I'm walking is really throwing me off. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. It doesn't really matter if I get hit a lot. Because um, I'm going to be wanting to die anyways. This will probably be the last floor that we kill ourselves on though, I'll be honest. Okay, let's pop this. The, the one problem with this is, of course, the room is static, but the enemies change. And a lot of the enemies aren't designed for this. Okay, thank you for sucking everything up for me. Well, Is it just you that's left? Okay, we did get an item this time. Nice. And it's the screw as well, which we kind of need fire it with the uh, the setup that we've got going on right now. So yeah, let's go into here. And that's definitely an item. I don't know if that's a, a, a technically a better award, but that's an item. And I can't remember what this one does. Have a little look-see. Uh, one second. If Isaac takes lethal damage, he automatically picks up any hearts in the current rune, saving him from death. Intriguing. Sounds incredibly good for like a tainted keeper run. Like, incredibly good for a tent to keep a run. We do have an Ansel's here, let's just pop it. And of course we do have a second cash room, so we can play into that a little bit. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> so funny. I love that. Guess we'll pick this up. And I, with a little chat as well, it could be kind of interesting. Okay. And by you go, that's just the most hilarious thing ever. Um, let's go in here. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're getting decent cash rooms. Don't pick that up yet. Good, good. Okay, so let's just go out here real quick. 
go boom and then boom grab grab out here then okay just stand at the back this is probably the best room because you can just stand in one spot pretty much And there you go, there's another soul heart. Yeah, this is a very good setup we got with a Havoc. Uh, I really like this item. It's very cool. It's maybe a little strong just because, like, a lot of the time the rooms haven't been that hard. Like, a few times they've been pretty solid. But I suppose that's kind of the advantage of the item or, like, the, the methodology of the item. You've kind of got to decide when it's best to pop it. You've got to think about the last 12 enemies you killed and say, hey, do I really want to fight all of these at once? Also, these motherfuckers telefragging. God damn. Why does it happen so often? Libra. Now, Libra got a buff. Libra got a buff, so I'm going to grab it. Um, honestly, that was terrible. <laughs> this has been awful. But Libra uh, now favors damage a little more highly. So it won't take quite as much damage away from you as it used to. Uh, it used to take damage away from you a lot. I was hoping it wouldn't take as much as it just did. It did, it did in fact, take quite a lot from us there. It took three but this is still a, neat, a decent run nonetheless. Um, Black Candle is fantastic for us here. And then let's check down here as well. And don't really think any of that's worth it. Although, I'll grab the Eternal Heart. Why not? I'm, like I said, I'm not likely to kill myself again on the next floor unless I find a lot of HP. Ooh, hello. We, we got Chaos that then turned into a... A glitched item, so I'm not really sure what that's about, but... Is this gonna path over there for us, or we have to get flight? Why is it always when there's an item you need flight? Who's making these rooms? Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Um... Oh no. I used Havoc Room. Uh, Havoc Vault. And I have been... Completely glitched out. I can't... I can't control my character at all. So let's uh, let's see if that's still bugged when we come back in. Okay, thank God. So unfortunately, that wasted a charge, but whatever. So we'll see if we can manage to get um, some way of getting that glitched item, because glitched items are always fun. But unfortunately, we're not going to have IED to uh, give us any idea of uh, of what that item is doing, which is how nature intended it, I suppose. That's kind of an interesting room. I don't have the money for it, but it's an interesting room. Right, let's fight Mother. And like I said, we'll see if we end up going for it on the next floor with... Oh, God. Yeah, that was a guaranteed hit for me there. Uh, we'll see if we end up going for it with um, our revives on the future floors. I mean, our health kind of tells me, especially when I get hit as much as this. As much as this. Oh, my God. My health is kind of telling me, yes, you probably want to uh, revive on the next floor because our health is so unbelievably low. But at the same time, it could be a little risky. We want to be going this way. And down we go. Yeah, probably shouldn't have taken Libra, but I had to try it. Damn it. I was really hoping for a, a soul heart or two in there, because that would have made reviving way more plausible. But instead, I just wasted my soul hearts. In fact, we might die unintentionally. <laughs> We're not playing so well. We've got a lot of lives to play around with. Ooh, new Ragman. Apparently, Ragman is a little bugged, though. He's got, like, a new champion sprite, but it only affects his head while it's attached, not while it's rolling. It needs, like, updating. Okay, so Havoc Room is broken now. <laughs> we need to change our active at some point. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened to it, but it is not a happy camper. Apparently that uh, that time it didn't work has, has broken it forever. I don't know what happened. I just used it as I was exiting the shop and it was like, nah. Don't think so, buddy. Apparently that's too much, too much to ask. Yeah, this is a big note for me. I realized that the guy popped his head up at the last minute and I could have just left, but whatever. Oh, damn. I'm really glad we got uh, 
Play-Doh Cookie. Play-Doh Cookie is an item that I really like, but I think it's also just really helping in like freezing enemies and stuff. But yeah, like isn't collecting the the um, enemies that, that I'm killing now. You can see it just says zero. That was a great bomb. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I'm wondering why I'm getting like random all stats up every now and again. Obviously, I know it's an all stats because we have Libra, but what stat is getting increased regularly here? Or decreased? Well, I, I, I can't tell. I'm not really sure what's going on. Good, good. Do you know, I'm really liking the, um, really liking having, what's his name? Uh, little Chad, because he's every now and again just dropping me a cell heart, and I really like the cell heart, so that's quite fun. Guppy's tail. We are one item away from Guppy now. Which I was not expecting to uh, have the pleasure of. Okay, we got a soul heart here. Oh, we got half soul heart. Okay, let's kill ourselves. We need to find something to do it on. Check this in the secret room. It looks like it. Yeah, there you go. And then I guess I can just bomb myself now. Get my stat increase. I kind of need the stat increase right now. I'm not doing too hot without it, like damage-wise at least. My damage isn't terrible without it, but I, I do kind of need that damage up each floor. And just having the damage of being, um, Salty Soup's pretty good. Having the damage of just being in, um, Last Risen is really nice. This might be one of my favorite, like, character quirks now with this rework it's so intriguing and fun it's so risky it's like it's definitely something that like only more advanced players are ever going to take advantage of or, or at least take full advantage of i think for uh more novice players or new players it's mainly just going to be an extra life per floor more than anything just an extra like a second chance they're not going to really care about optimizing killing yourself for the stats it's just going to be hey, you have an extra life if you need it. And I actually think because of that, if new players understand how it works um, as compared to how it used to, Lazarus might become kind of the de facto go-to character for new players. Like, obviously, uh, Azazel's always going to be that character, the easy character. But I mean, a character that fires normal tears, I feel like Lazarus could very much become that new... Um, that new go-to easy character for new players, just because he's so approachable now. Like, starts with a pill, which, especially if you're okay with holding R at the start of your run, could lead to a health up or a tears up right off the bat, which I feel is very, very approachable to new players and very uh, interesting, because a lot of them do hold R, which is fine. If you want to play that way, you can play that way. Personally, I, I, I wouldn't prefer to, but if people want to do that, that's fine. Um, and then on top of that, yeah, you've got the extra stats of reviving, which is really nice for new players. But, more importantly, you have a free revive per floor, which allows you to take Deal with the Devils a bit more liberally, which I don't think will be a huge thing on their mind, but it's still nice. But more importantly, yeah, you, you, you basically have a, a small second chance each floor to redeem yourself. And one of the great things about Lazarus uh, Risen, or Lazrags if you want to call it that, is it doesn't revive you the same way many revives do. Many revives will revive you outside of the room you were just in. Whereas when you're playing as Lazarus or when you have Lazarus's rags, it revives you as Lazarus in the room that you died in. Meaning, not only do you get to take advantage of the iframes of the hit while reviving, but you do get that, like, like if, if you're, like, 90% of the way through a boss fight, it's not like it's all for nothing. Like, nine lives is a big problem, because if you get in a hush fight and you've got nine lives, you're kind of screwed, because you're just going to keep dying perpetually over and over again. You're going to keep eking him down. You could get him down to 90% HP, die, and he's straight back to full. But in this situation... Oh, my God. Dying here, yeah. In this situation, you can actually utilize it a little bit to, um... See what we get here. Sadly, nothing useful. Um, in this situation, you get to carry on that fight. Now, that could be seen as a disadvantage to some people because you it, it may be a room that you could like backtrack away from and not go through. But for the most part, 
people that are dying, it's going to be on boss fights. So I feel like having the opportunity to continue that boss fight is always going to be nice. Child's heart. Nah, I'm really liking the abdu uh, abductions that we're getting going on right now. They're fun. Don't know if we'll survive this, but we've, we've got a few lives to, to go at. Trying to use bombs where I can, but it's, it's very difficult. I've just got the unfortunate situation of having to shoot backwards all the time, which makes aiming particularly difficult with dodging involved too. And, and then trying to throw a bomb out there at the same time is even worse. I chose the wrong direction. God damn it. Yeah, I chose the wrong direction that she was going to fire in there. Another problem with this shooting backwards as well is my familiars. I mean, I've only got Harlequin Baby, so it's not all that bad. But my familiars are firing the, in the wrong direction too. So it's kind of it's kind of like, it's weird. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this. It's kind of an interesting item. And I do like items that kind of throw everything up in the air and change how you got to play. What the hell hit me then? Do you know, I might be, de I might be dead here. I really, I'm, I'm really not a fan of this uh, shooting backwards deal. Maybe I should just try using this. But the range on this is so bad, and then the actual uh, fire rate, uh, sorry, not fire rate, damage is also quite low. I don't know, I think maybe we need to backtrack and get like a card or something to help us out with this. Uh, like a death card or a strength would be incredible. Or maybe just find a soul heart. Finding a soul heart would keep me... Uh, out of trouble, I think. I mean, I could I could still do this, but there's a few attacks she's got that really fuck me over. Well, there you go. We did it. Angel deal could be a savior. Could be a savior. It could be Guardian Angel, too. Um, <laughs> although, these could end up being quite good. Ooh, this is, this is good. We'll take that. Damage up's nice. Booster pack's potentially good. What the? What is going on with um, EID? It's really messed up right now. A lot of stuff. Okay, looks like they're out of luck there. So now, really, we have no reason not to kill ourselves because our health is so low on the next floor. Um, of course, be being able to gr uh, get into our care rooms for free is now very useful. Um, this could be potentially good. Unfortunately, it was not. In, in fact, this is almost certain death now. Although, as you can clearly tell, the stat effects from our uh, Pluto cookie are helping us a lot. Oh, a secret room as well. Thank you. What up, bomber boy? How you living? I love the resprice on these guys. Never really talk about it anymore, but top quality mod. Having unique sin sprites. Ooh, holy bunnies. Holy bunnies aren't so bad just because they kind of have a limited range of where they can fire. But at the same time, they do do this, where they cover the entire battlefield in fire, which makes things particularly difficult and a single hit from this guy will kill us as well I just need to get homing shots in there there you go you got him okay secret room secret room is unfortunately a smelting pot and we don't have any soul hearts it costs a soul heart to smelt a trinket not that we really need to anyways this is a hundred percent a must do because we just we're not getting anything out of it otherwise hot milk uh, is pretty good I guess we'll uh, grab some soul hearts here, potentially. We got a HP up some from something. I'm guessing that was hot milk. I don't actually didn't actually check, but... Blood Earth. Great. I mean, I'll take this. I'm not taking Blood Earth. <laughs> Blood Earth is a bad idea. Okay. You're a bit of a nuisance. Not terribly difficult but definitely not easy in a room like this. It's a very small room for this guy. 
very small room indeed, and it's taking us quite some time to kill him. And of course, he keeps spawning these fellas. Ah, that brimstone hit me. Do you know what? Let's, um... Oh, no. I'm an idiot. I was like, let's just fly over the rocks and... Yeah, Hangman doesn't give you spectral, you moron. Doesn't actually help us, basically, at all. Look how slowly this guy's dying. This is... I think this is a, this is a, a pretty much guaranteed death room, this. Actually, we might be okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh god, the stress is uh, the stress is building. The stress is building. We're doing okay. I'd like to keep the streak alive if possible. I'm not gonna be distraught if we can't, but it would be nice. It's just this scalpel. It's it's making everything so much more. Like it's basically adding like one extra layer of thought process I have to put into every single decision. Which just is not good for me. My brain is already at full capacity at all times when playing this game anyways. Ooh, a soul heart's nice. Now, we haven't killed ourselves yet. So, there is a potential for killing ourselves here and grabbing the soul heart. Puts us in a bit of a spot if we don't. Yeah, well, we're going to have to, I think. Although now... Okay, we do. I was going to say we don't have a guaranteed way to kill ourselves. We do. There you go. Little bit risky, obviously, because um, we're not going to keep this soul heart forever. I'd like to, but I, I kind of doubt it's going to be the case. But I think the damage is pretty necessary for us to actually kill Isaac. If we can get another soul heart on top of this, then I'd say we're in a much better spot, but I don't really know how likely that is at this point. The can be soul, um, so has tinted rocks on this floor, I think, but I don't see him that often. Another cell heart there. I don't really know where I'm going either here. I'm just kind of, there we go, there's a tinted rock. I'm just kind of going in random directions, hoping for the best. Don't spawn these spiders. Thank you. Ooh, a mega chest. This could be good. It opened in one, unfortunately, because... Yeah, we didn't get any items. <laughs> we got a little, we, we got some bombs, but mostly it's kind of trash. Mostly that's kind of trash. Okay, Isaac's here. Second secret room is going to give us potentially some black hearts. Give us a burn heart. And a black heart. Some more bombs. Can we fill up this burn heart? Yes, we can. Good, good. Okay. I'm not going to say it's a guaranteed victory against Isaac here, but this is the best chance we're going to get on this floor. If we die on this chance, I'd say that chances after that are pretty slim. Just because, like, we're going to have the same damage and stats and much, much lower HP. Isaac's always a fight that I find particularly difficult in times of stress. And then, even even on a good run, he's still difficult on times of stress. But then, in times of, like, being, like, full HP but low damage, he's a piece of piss. I don't get hit by him at all. Do you know, that, that, that's probably one of the most annoying things he does. Where he just, like, non-stop spawns his little babies. We're about to end second phase. Unfortunately, I did get hit there. But that was a black heart hit, so we that did deal some damage to him. All depends on if you can one cycle his uh, rays of fury phase. Like if you can kill him before he starts dashing around the room and get him back up into the sky again, it's fine. If he starts dashing around the room, things start to go awry real heckin' quick. I've always found this phase to be very odd. It's 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 very easy. Like dodging the beams isn't guaranteed, but it's it's not particularly hard. Um, and then this is like the easiest attack of all time. But there's no no challenge at all in this. There you go, we got him. Well, that was a bit risky. That was uh, a bit crazy. We managed to get down to the next floor, and probably not going to kill ourselves this floor. We'll see how this uh, this ends up feeling though. 
Mr. Boom is an active item, which is good. Firemind is, is not great for us. Jar of Air is so good. Typeset's also pretty nice. Yeah, typeset's going to be pretty good. Although, one thing that's a bit of an annoyance here is we can't really use those flies very very uh, actively because we're going to be firing them in the wrong direction for the most part. Maybe it's better to just use the flies and use the front-facing shots. I don't know. But yeah, enemies are going to be, like, farting as soon as we enter the room and poisoning them, which is nice. But we got these flies. We got some extra hearts out of it. All in all, some reasonably good gets here. Yeah. Gonna be a little tricky to not get hit here. Yeah, there you go. I kind of felt that one coming. Oh, that homing shot. My uh, guardian angel just saved me. Empty heart, unfortunately, doesn't give us anything now, so that's pretty useless. This is a rather uh, cursed room for us as well. But our flies might be able to do some good stuff. Our locusts. Just kind of about stay keeping our distance and standing our ground here, really. The farts are doing great. Poisoning everything. Let them all get poisoned. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't think we were going to get another freeze out of that guy. He smacked straight into the wall. But this has been a stressful one. This has really been a stressful run. And it's been a long one, too. We don't often have, like, near hour long runs, but they happen every now and again. It's kind of weird to, to now realize after getting Mr. Boom that we have car battery. We haven't been able to use it basically all run, but we actually do have car battery. I completely forgot about it. But yeah, I think firing forward is definitely the way to go and utilizing our flies, despite the damage and range down that we that it kind of comes attached with. I'm just hoping we go the right way. By the way, I really apologize if you can hear that alarm in the background. I don't know how long that's been going on, but I've just realized. I just heard it through my headphones and it's pretty loud. I'm hoping it's not coming through, but I can hear it quite loudly. Thanks. The black bean. Why does sometimes the chest just absolutely troll you? Also, what is going on with these hearts? How did that hit me? That shouldn't have hit me. I think these are like new versions of Mask of Infamy hearts. New champion updates. Ooh, don't grab that yet. I'm not sure this will work, actually. I'm going to pop my pill as well. Bombs are key. Actually, I'm pretty pretty happy with having more bombs. That did give me a half black heart. Nice. Okay, I, th I think we just fought this room. But we fight it again. And unfortunately, we did end up going pretty much the wrong way entirely here. Entirely, entirely. That should kill both of them. It didn't quite actually, I think... Reap Creep's got quite a bit more health. One moment. Oh, God, itchy ear. God damn, that alarm is loud. I really apologize, but there is nothing I can do about that. I'll have to go back in the footage and see if I can uh, edit it out if it is a problem. It depends, though. My editing abilities are only so limited. I really want Fire Mind, but I really know it's a bad idea. Ooh, that was a that was a, a, a little telefrag you were trying there, wasn't it, fella? Tell a fella frag. Stain's doing his little thing. Stain, you do your thing, do your thing. It wasn't so bad. Nice! Mr. Boom does so much damage, so having two of them down, insta-kills guaranteed. 
want to be pretty much using it whenever we get the opportunity. Of course, trying to save it for the boss, though. I like the way that we're able to typeset the eyes of these enemies. <laughs> pretty funny. Mended knife. Nice. That's basically the knife familiar, but as an item. Really good. Of course, everyone knows how strong the knife is when you get it, when you're going, uh, going mausoleum and stuff, so... Yes, I think this is a room that we just do not need to use our Mr. Boom on, although it's a freebie actually, so maybe we do, uh, because it's a double room so it'll instantly charge itself. Doesn't do too much for us, but there you go. We might end up getting hit here. If we get Shoop de Whoop, I'm, I'm, I might be tempted to take Shoop, because it just gets a little easier to aim and it's still a two room charge, but I don't think it works with car battery, which is the big downside. taken quite a while. This has been a, a really interesting run just because it's been like on the verge of good. It's got a lot of good elements and a lot of it is very strong but it, we have sort of entered the struggle bus and I think this is one of these runs where if we'd have been like pre-patch Lazarus this would have been a death. I don't think I don't think we'd have been able to do it with the amount of damage that we um that we would have ended up had, having at this point like our damage right now is 7.63, and we're not Lazarus Risen. We're basic Lazarus. So, if you think about it, we'd only have, like, four damage right now. Like, four or five damage right now. We'd have a lot less than we currently do. Damn it. Ooh, Apple of Pride. Pretty good. Massive stat boost until we next get hit. Obviously... This all depends on how long it takes us to get hit. We might get hit instantly. That was a pretty tight dodge there. I'm glad I made that. Right. You're dead as well. More chests, please, my lord. More chests, please. Okay, if we manage to keep this stat up into the boss fight, which is looking... I, I wouldn't say it's likely with this room, but it's looking not terribly unlikely. Having these guys be charmed and feared and all sorts of stuff is really helping too. They're kind of killing each other along the way. Typeset is also helping. There you go. Okay. Multidimensional baby as well. Okay. We got conjoined at the end, nice. Although conjoined isn't actually that good because we now have to fire out the back of our head if we want to take advantage of it. Okay, so we lost our stat boost. Yeah, unfortunately I think shooting out the back of our head here is the best option for us. Trying to use multidimensional baby when I can. Multidimensional baby's resprite is so nice. What the hell hit me then? Okay, we might still die here. This is bad. I'm not doing well at all. Let's play a bit more conservative, shall we? Try and use multidimensional baby to do, to do a lot of our damage. Fire mind there was rather nice. That was a very good bomb. Unfortunately, the bombs are kind of getting blasted in directions I can't really control. That was another good bomb. Don't know if it hit him, but I liked its trajectory. And another good one. Got, just got to remember that the bombs do quite a lot of damage, so they really are worth getting in there whenever, whenever possible. Another good one. There you go. Okay. A rather tricky fight, indeed. And we'll be ending the run there. Again, sorry for the alarm if you can hear it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.